awakening beings from everywhere around the globe. It's me, Lori Spanya, here with you today to chat with you. I'm in the rain in Florida. I love, love, love the rain. To chat with you a little bit about star seeds and light workers and the waves. So a lot of people have been writing to me and my tribe, my community, asking about this concept of waves as it relates to star seeds and light workers and wave showers and the process of awakening that's happening on planet Earth. So I thought I would address it here. So if we can understand that everyone is waking up like waves of the ocean, but there are kind of collective groups waking up in surges together. So one of those waves that's waking up, first waivers are referred to, we refer to them as first waivers, and typically first waivers took on a collective responsibility, like a sub-responsibility or agreements, collective agreements of what our role would be as first waivers. Then we have second waivers who are waking up now and they have a collective kind of sub-responsibility or collective agreements about what their role would be in the awakening process on planet Earth. And then there's a third wave of people who are not yet waking up. They're still living in a third dimensional consciousness entirely based on separation and those third waivers that's like a third wave now if you if you think about this in terms of linear time first waivers go first second waivers go second and third waivers go third right but that's not it's mostly relevant to what that unique the souls in that subgroup or category what jobs or responsibilities or agreements we made in each category in terms of our contribution toward the ascension, toward the awakening of humanity, and toward the elevation of the collective from a first, uh, sorry, from a third dimensional consciousness to a fifth dimensional consciousness. Yeah? So first waivers, and, and the thing about waves, the reason it's given the term waves, I mean, at least this is the way I gave it this term. I, I got this from my consciousness connection source. I don't think I'm the only one talking about it, but I actually, I don't know if I ever heard anyone else talk about it. Now that I think about it, I probably didn't. But I talk about it all the time. That's because the reason we gave it this waves is because you kind of don't know where one wave begins and another wave ends. Even though we could technically wrap linear time around it, we could put it in the constraints of linear time. In truth, it's like waves on an ocean. It's like one wave triggers the next wave and they all blend into one big ocean, right? But the idea really is, First waivers were waking up in the mid 60s, early 60s. It really started to culminate in the mid 60s when you had like the hippie movement and the burn your bras and the, you know, love and peace movement and then Coca Cola capitalized on that. I'd like to give the world a song. Like you saw Woodstock rise up. And then what happened was that first wave of the early first waivers were very radically curtailed, right? And a lot of, you know, basically that so-called dark agenda basically got rid of a lot of those leaders, MLK, JFK, um, John Lennon, you know, others like them, they were basically taken out, right? Physically eliminated from the planet. And then there was this lull and there was all this dark stuff to try to curtail us and slow us down from our awakening, which we know some of those big events like 9-11, for example, those are, you know, the. Uh, 2008 financial collapse. Those were all ways to, to, to traumatize the collective to slow down the progress of humanity's awakening, right? But nothing could be done post-2012. After 2012, that dark agenda really didn't have the power to do that in the same way. They still don't. Only their influence is what left, is left behind that we're now resolving. That's part of the job of the second waivers. So second waivers are beings who are coming online post-2012, more or less. If you're a first waiver, you were already doing this work. You were already actively engaged prior to 2011, right? That was such a big timeline, 11, 11, 11. In 2011, where all first waivers were fully, fully activated, fully awakened, and fully in their role and mission uh, toward ascension and the awakening of humanity. And second waivers are now still waking up. This is why you're seeing more and more people elevating and becoming more positive movements, all positives, and going after their dreams. And second waivers are still much more mainstream, but they're they're doing business coaching and life coaching and 
you know, teaching about eating healthy and genetically modified foods, getting rid of those and teaching about nature and, you know, more sort of a little bit more mainstream type of stuff because they're working for the collective of third waivers who are scheduled to wake up at the 2020 timeline, start waking up somewhere around the 2020 timeline. And that's where we have a huge linear period of time where everybody starts to slowly and gradually come online and awaken. Now, if this concept of waves and jobs of what each group does is a little strange to you, go watch the other video I just did with the same kind of scenery on Donald Trump and the wall, and you'll understand what I was saying about the old regime prior to 2012, the new regime that's now coming in with the birth of the second waivers, and the soon-to-be initial birthing of third waivers. Hopefully that will help put more in perspective for you. But I hope that's helpful. I hope that this can share some light and shed some light on what's going on with Ascension and the current shift and the awakening of humanity. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful for your being here. Share in the comments below and <laughs> okay. let me know if this makes sense to you. And I, I just want to send you all my love and light. I wish you your absolute highest and best. Until next time. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye.